So what we have here is a very interesting, very simple circuit. And the goal of the circuit is to create a momentary circuit opening, causing an Arduino to activate, turn on, and stay on for as long as the Arduino wants to stay on. So the use case scenario here would be something along the lines of uh, you've got a remote, and you push the button on the remote for just a moment. The remote would then activate, chit-chat, do its thing, and then shut off when it's decided it's done the function. So, let's say a garage remote that wants to monitor how the door is progressing open. But the remote would then shut down once it's got a res response back that the door is open. So, we push the button for just a moment. We don't want to push it down and hold for the entire door opening. We want to push the button and then have the remote stay on for, it could be two seconds, five seconds, whatever it takes the door to open, and then the Arduino would say, okay, I'm done, and shut off. And this, of course, is a battery-powered situation, and when we say shut off, we mean truly stop draining the battery of power. So what we've got here is, um, think of this area under my hand as an Arduino. This is a bare board Arduino, and it is, um, really, you could just say, this is like a nano sitting here. Um, we've got an LED. It's, this is like hooked up to pin 13, so it works. And the program we've got on here is a variation of Blink. And this might look very complicated, but really just think of it as an Arduino. It's, this is going into a bare board situation, so that is... Um, just, it looks complicated, but it isn't. It's just two power, two volt, two five volt things, or a ground and a five volt going in, and pins going out. Very Arduino-like. And then over here is where it gets interesting. We've got a MOSFET. This is an FQP30N06L, uh, I believe it is, but it's a MOSFET. Most MOSFETs work the way, same way. This is a logic level MOSFET, so it's happy to work with an Arduino. And what we've got is we've got, so the 5 volts going in positive is just going into this red rail on the bottom, but the 5 the ground from the same power source, so you can think of this as a battery going in, is going into the third pin of the MOSFET. Then coming out of the second pin is the ground then going to sort of our ground rail, which everybody uses. So a MOSFET, the way it works, is on pin 1, which is the gate, we can put a voltage in, and it will then send, allow the ground to then connect, and as you can see, the Arduino is activated, and this is a variation of the Blink program. Very, very simple. And it's set so that the light will blink five times, and then the Arduino decides after five blinks to turn itself off. The way this is working is we've got this white wire here running from pin 12, going to the same gate that I'm touching with this wire here. So it puts a positive voltage in, and once the Arduino boots up, it's putting 5 volts in and holding that gate open until the Arduino decides to go low, because I'm not activating this wire anymore. So after 5 blinks, it goes low, and when a MOSFET is low, it sort of basically switches off this black um, ground wire, so now there's no more ground going to the Arduino, and the Arduino shuts down, because it has no power. And when a MOSFET has shut down the gate, and we've got it with a pull-down resistor here. This is a 10K resistor, which makes sure that there's no 5 volt, 5 volt staying sort of statically on this gate. Then the MOSFET will have about a 10 mega ohm, or even maybe even more, resistance, which means there's no perceptible current. If I got up my multimeter, I don't think my multimeter could detect the amount of current that's trying to sort of squeeze by here. It just can't count those few electrons moving. So the battery, a battery powered circuit running through this MOSFET is not going to drain notably because of this MOSFET. The battery is going to be draining on its own just through natural aging faster than this. So hooked up to a, if the battery had a 10 year lifespan, I would guess that it, hooking it up to the circuit might only reduce it to a like, nine and a half year lifespan or whatever. It's not consequential. Now, in theory, Arduinos can be told to go into sort of a sleep state where you could have an interrupt connected, and it's very, very low drain. But I want no drain, not low drain. And so as I say, this is um, pretty straightforward. This would be like in a remote control for the garage where you just 
touch the button and then you don't hold the button down anymore. The remote will stay on, do its thing, and shut down. So now let's just do a quickie look at this very, very simple code. And as I say, we've got a counter. This is going to count the five blinks. We go here. So this is just standard pin 13, blinky light. Then pin 12, this is what holds the gate open. Then we immediately write a high. We do that right here in the setup. And we say, just go to high. That holds the gate open, which now means the Arduino will continue to get power. Then we just run through the standard blink, which is two seconds, basically on and off. We increment the count up one, and the moment the count has exceeded five, then um, we say to the pin 12, which is the one holding the gate open, go to low, and as soon as that happens, that's it. This Arduino's powered off. No code will run after this. And that's it. I mean, it's a very simple thing. It's a, All you need to add to your circuit is a MOSFET and a pull-down resistor. This is, I say, 10K, very straightforward resistor. And you now can battery power a um, Arduino with a momentary button, where the Arduino will then run through its power or whatever operational sequence and then um, shut down. Now, if you have any questions about this, as I say, this area here, you can just think of this as an Arduino. I could just as easily have built this where I just powered the 5 volts into the Arduino and then um, used pin 12 on the Arduino and pin 13 is the standard blinky LED on here. But um, it's a very, very simple circuit and um, when I put it up on the... I'll put a fritzing diagram. I'll, I'll put one here for this bare board Arduino and then I'll also put um, one just slapping this down as an Arduino, keeping it very simple looking. Anyway, um, that's it. So if you have any questions, um, as I, about the biggest one I could see would be what MOSFET to use, and that would be any logic level MOSFET that can handle both 5 volts as the gate and um, control 5 volts and the milliamps that go into an Arduino. So it's not a... and I guess maybe whatever other power your circuit might be using, but it's not a... Um, most MOSFETs can handle a lot of power, so um, this one's obviously being underwhelmed by its demands. So, subscribe, like, and so on and so forth. I enjoy the comments and questions. Thank you very much.